Hey Louis, just thought I'd uh, give you an old rundown of how to use Irfan View. So if you'll follow along with me, if you've already installed it, then you go into your program files folder into the Irfan View folder, run the executable, which will give you a blank black window, and then you can go to File, Batch Conversion slash Rename, or you can just use B on the keyboard, and that will then open the batch conversion window, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to wherever you've got your folder that you want to work with your images in and as you can see uh, you can actually preview the images in the preview window and then you'll click the add all button which will then populate the bottom area with the files that you want to convert and then if you look on the left over here, <coughs> you'll see that there's several things that you can do. You can do a batch conversion, you can do a batch rename, or you can do a batch conversion and rename the result files. So that's the one we are going to want to do because we actually want to rename the files as we're doing the conversion. If you have a look directly below that, you see that there's batch conversion settings, and you can choose your output format where you can choose a whole bunch of different file types but we'll stick with JPEG because that's what we want and if you go into the options you'll see that you can adjust the quality of your images I just leave it at 90 usually because it's pretty good and usually you don't have to adjust anything else in here <coughs> next up you'll see that below that there's an advanced option section and you can tick on or off the use advanced options section so we'll go into advanced and now you can see an area where you can now adjust the the ultimate size of the image that you want to end up with now if you have a look here you'll see that there's a crop area we don't want to crop anything so we won't select that below that there's a resize area we do want to resize our images and if you look there's several different options that you can choose you can either set one or both sides to a width and or a height you can set the long side to a uh, height or set the short side to a, an amount well it doesn't have to be a height or, or a width it'll be either whichever is the longest side and you can choose pixels centimeters or inches we'll always leave pixels checked because obviously working on screen centimeters and inches doesn't really make much sense so let's say you wanted your images to be a maximum width or height of mm, 500 that sounds good for a gallery to me so now it'll never get taller than 500 and never get wider than 500 you'll see at the bottom there's some check boxes the first being preserve aspect ratio proportional you'll always want to do that otherwise your images will become distorted you'll always want to use the resample function and just in case you do have images that are smaller than 500 by 500 you won't want to make them bigger because that'll make them pixelate um, the middle section change color depth we're not really going to pay much attention to we're not actually going to pay much attention to the sharpen section uh, or should I say the effects section that you can actually perform basic um, filters on under the miscellaneous section you'll see that here checked on is overwrite existing files which we do want to do if we're saving to the same folder if you're saving to a different folder then it doesn't matter <coughs> the only other thing that's checked here is apply changes to all pages but it only applies to to files so we don't want to pay any attention to that so we'll just click OK there and then <coughs> we will check next to see our batch rename settings now <coughs> there's a whole bunch of different patterns that you can use and if you go into your help over here it actually takes you through all the different um, placeholder uh, variables that you can use to put things into the file name so the one that you'll most likely want to use will be a uh, number so if we just close there we'll just put in a hash for a single digit number 
put in an additional hash for a double digit number and maybe we'll want to call this we'll want to put the word gallery in front of it and let's say we wanted this to be gallery 25 maybe we want to underscore something like that and then if we just check in our help once again we can get the file extension which is dollar sign O so we'll then go dollar capital O and we're saying our starting count is 1 and our increment is 1 which is correct and we'll say OK and then we're just going to say start batch oh the one other thing is you can choose your output directory for result files so we can use the current look in directory and you can even put in a new directory name there and it'll actually create the folder so let's just hit our start batch and what do you know zero errors zero warnings exit and if we look over on our desktop uh, one sec you'll see that we now have my gallery 2 and in this folder we now have our resized images and if you look at the image size you'll see that they're never wider or taller than 500 so there you go that's the basic thing of how you resize a whole bunch of images and rename them as you'll see as well if we have a look at our details here gallery 25 underscore 01 whatever the case is the only issue here is I've got two full stops in my file names rather than one but that's just because I put that in when I put dot dollar sign O rather than leaving the dot out so that's just something you'll want to have a look at but you can play around with it and you'll see it's actually very very easy